what's up uh, welcome to my youtube channel kps tools and technology tips uh, hi i'm kavar pracing and uh, today i'm going to show you one main issue which uh, we always face uh, when we try to uh, do operating system deployment through sscm uh, any version through sscm 2012 or current branch we always face maximum time when we start con uh, ost we face this issue after preparing network connections system got reported many of the time we have seen this error and uh, uh, there's one solution which i got uh, uh, while doing testing and um, this is a very good solution and it's 100 percent working for any environment i've already tested in uh, two three systems and it's working fine so this is the screen which you uh, always get uh, after preparing network connections system got reported and it's uh, re rebooted and again and again same thing is happening on the system but uh, you are not able to uh, deploy operating system on that system so uh, this is the problem actually and the solution is we have to create a new boot image uh, through MDT and through also other uh, there are ways to create boot image but in this video I'll show you like how you can create a new boot image and once you create and uh, update there in your uh, SCCM after that, you will not face this issue again in your environment. So uh, let's start. I'll show you uh, in this video. And uh, MDT installation is uh, really easy. Uh, I've already uh, created one video on that uh, MDT installation. And uh, you can, uh, I'll give that uh, video link as well uh, in the description of this video. So that uh, it will be easy for you to install MDT on your environment. It's a simple step uh, installation, so you can so you can use it in your environment. So after installing and uh, uh, integrating MDT uh, into your SCCM, you will get this option as you can see on my screen in the left side. Create boot image using MDT, and also you can see op same option here as well. So just select this, and after that you have to give a UNC path here. So just create any folder on any server which is uh, accessible from this SCCM server so I just create it and here you can see boot image I have created this folder for uh, creating this boot image click next uh, we can say custom boot image and x64 and uh, the person we can give any uh, as per our choice 10.05 uh, we can give according to our current so this is this is the version so we can give something like that 10 0 dot dot five. click next you can give any comment here click next here we have to select x64 and uh, scratch space we can be 128 MB here we don't need to we can select if you want any option otherwise uh, this is basic option which you can select and just click next here here we have to enable command prompt as well click next and you can see uh, this is the summary whatever select uh, option you have selected it will show here so just click next and it will create your port image so take around uh, uh, not much time um, five minutes maximum it will take and after that your image will be created So I'm pausing this video so that uh, uh, Your time should not be wasted here. So I'll come back uh, once this completed let's check if uh, it's completed yes uh, it's completed now as you can see the uh, image has been uh, created successfully you can refresh it yes as you can see here custom boot image and now we have to just distribute the content to our uh, dps just click next and uh, select our distribution point this is my distribution point and next and close just refresh it as you can see it's already coming so after completing this uh, once you get the success you can use this image in your 
operating system deployment and it should hopefully work fine in your environment as well so this is the uh, whole process of creating the boot image by using MDT so thank you for watching my video hope uh, this was uh, this was uh, really informative and uh, if you like the video and uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and also share this video so that I can uh, create some more informative video in future as well. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you.